I'm pro-life all the way. I've carried the pain of um, an abortion for almost 40, 44 years. It's not a good thing. I was in this debate back in the 70s and 80s. And the other side said Planned Parenthood and other people said, when we can prove that it's a life, actually prove it, then we'll stop. But it's just a piece of tissue. Well, one, we always knew that wasn't true. And two, we've more than proven it. And they're still killing them. They're doing worse than that. They're selling body parts. I mean, come on. It's like Nazi Germany. This is horrible. Do you think that the Democrats have gotten kind of extremist on some of their policies? Oh, a lot, a lot. They've um, gone really to the left, the far left, um, with the full-term abortions, that the baby will be full-term, and they're, they're saying they're allowed to abort it. The two states, that Virginia and New York, that just passed laws that a woman can choose to kill her baby after it's born if she doesn't want it. And in 2021, that's going to become a law in those two states. And it's just an atrocity. We were saying if somebody was doing that to a puppy, there would be an uproar outrage. and an outrage. Mm -hmm. But to do it to a baby, well, it's the mother's right if yes. she doesn't want it. That's horrible. I had an abortion. I had an abortion in 1971 before it was even legal. Um, at that time, I did believe the values that it was just a mass of cells. As I grew, as I matured, as I learned that not to be true, um, totally changed to the other side. I know that approximately when the birthday would be of the baby that I did not bear, I know that it has affected every other decision I made in my life because you carry shame and they are lying if they don't believe that about themselves. They shout because they're angry with the decisions they made about their own reproductive choices. The Democrats, they don't care about babies being murdered. My daughter is trying to get pregnant for two years and then women have babies and say, I don't want it, and they have an abortion. My daughter is trying to have a baby. So uh, I'm definitely pro-life. I think what Trump did for planned pregnancy is nothing but a, a fantastic amen yes. to many of us in this nation. You know, many of the presidential frontrunners of the Democrat Party have said that they support a woman's right to choose at any time during pregnancy. So if we get a Democrat in, we could very well see more pushes to expand abortion rights up until the day before a baby is born. It's my understanding that every Democrat in Congress voted against the bill to protect the surviving babies of abortion. And people need to be made aware of that. I think there's so many false beliefs out there of what the Democratic Party stands for because there's blinders on. And through groups like this, the empowerment of women, we're hoping to share the true message of the Republican platform. I think about LeBron James. His mother was 16 when she had him. You know who LeBron James is? Yes. I mean, she could have had an abortion at 16, but she didn't. So just think, if she had an abortion, there would be no LeBron James. You know, yeah, so. look at all the things he's done. I know, that's what I mean. I don't like the victim mentality. I don't like the fact that people who get up every morning going to work and working hard, they have opened the doors for other people to get a job. I know a lot of people are on welfare. If they just realize that they did the numbers, it's better to go to work and get the subsidy to help take care of their kids. Half of them don't even take care of their kids. They need to put them in child care anyway and go to work and support themselves because they'll feel better about themselves, the self-esteem and everything, and then they'll stop being, you know, having babies out of wedlock. You know, it's like, that's crazy. You know, stop all the madness. Because back before, like when Martin Luther King was here and the civil rights movement, black people had families, a mother and a father, you know, and then all of a And now they're being targeted by yeah. Planned, Parenthood Planned Parenthood with the abortion with clinics. The abortions and everything, that's crazy. It seems like the Democrats care more about the illegal immigrants than they do about people here that are homeless, kids that are homeless here, kids that, you know, they seem to care more about illegal immigrants than they do about people that are here. Everybody needs to come here legally. Everybody's welcome here, but they need to be vetted. And we want to know that they're going to be here for our country, um, our Constitution. And if they follow that, they're welcome here. But they have to abide by our laws. This is our country. And I want 
my daughter and my grandkids and everybody else's children to have what I have. And I don't want it to change, so I'm getting emotional, but that's how I feel. The cages were under Obama. He's the one that built the cages, not Trump. And those pictures they show are from when Obama was president with the kids in cages. And people thinking that, oh, he want to separate families. No, you're illegal. And I like the fact he said, well, how can you illegally come over here, then have a baby, and then your baby becomes legal? No. They just need to make sure that the children are actually with their biological parents because the coyotes are trafficking children because yes. they can use them to get across. And that's right. And for the people who say, well, exactly, because I heard that this morning, and I believe in that. You know, they really need to keep the, the family together. But also, you got to remember, in America, when we do wrong, they separate us from our kids. So they're getting the benefit of the doubt. ISIS is giving them the benefit yeah, of the doubt. They're breaking the law. Yes, they are. They are breaking the law by coming in here. And I, and, and I understand you're trying to get away from all that craziness. I understand that. But it's a privilege to live in, the, in America. You need to come the right way. I've been Democrat all my life, but the more I listened to him, the more I read just what's going on in the country, you know, I realize people have to read um, and they'll walk away from the other side because, and I'll never go back. I mean, the last great Democrat was uh, President Kennedy. What do you think are some of the obstacles that you might encounter while trying to go and campaign for Trump? A lot of people, a lot of people don't listen and they're going to, first thing they're going to say is that you're a sellout, but they don't realize that the Democrats are the sellout because way back, way back, way back, we were Republicans. It's become a me society and it's very harmful. We are a society of people that have to work together for the betterment of all, where they are working for the betterment of themselves. They see nothing bigger than themselves and their values, and they destroy what they touch by simply shouting it down, turning the conversation ugly, and they have no substance to what they say. It's just a destructive philosophy. I have been out and I've interviewed a lot of feminists, but as soon as they realize I'm conservative or I, I have values that don't go along with feminism, they attack me yes. and they want to shut down my rights to speak or my rights to do my job. So you said that really well. Like they, they mostly support feminism. They don't support women's, women's rights. No. The women on the Democratic side of the platform, I believe, only love themselves. They don't love women, they love feminism. And feminism has a platform of destroying any good value of a female that values herself. If you liked the video that you just watched, please support me directly at Millie Weaver at Subscribestar. You will also gain access to exclusive Millennial Millie content that only my subscribers will have access to. You can also support me by going to InfoWarsStore.com and making a purchase. Your support helps fund our fight against the globalists and the fake news lying media. We all know the importance of fish oils. While we are sure to provide them for ourselves, it's just as important to make sure your kids get their EPA and DHA too. Honor Roll is a powerful DHA fish oil formula for your child. Built from the ground up to support your child's development, this formula uses wild anchovy fish oil, ultra purified krill oil, and wild salmon fish oil with vitamins to boost your child's mind and body. With this fish oil formula, you can support your child's optimal heart, joint, cognitive, and brain health while providing DHA, which has been shown to be essential for your child's brain growth spurts. Built on powerful ingredients with 580 milligrams of high DHA omega-3s, this formula is highly refined to eliminate nearly all heavy metals. If you're looking for a formula to help your child grow, look no further. Try Honor Roll from InfoWars Life at InfoWarsStore.com.